Right guys, something a little bit different today. I'm gonna do a video, but very much in real time. So there's gonna be no edits, there's gonna be no cuts, it's all gonna be done semi-professionally. So I'm gonna do a bit of a Scorsese, if you know that film Goodfellas, and um, it's not gonna be sweeping movements, but I'm gonna be literally taking you through this as you see it, effectively. So I don't wanna do all the kind of, I'm mean, doing the tape and all that sort of thing. I've kind of got things out a little bit bit of preparation but we'll see how it goes never done this before so I want to introduce you to the ZX Spectrum next which I've just received this is the accelerated version that you can see here uh, we've got the computer out uh, it is a personal computer it's not a console um, we have our uh, trusty joystick here we've got our user manual which we may show you a bit of as well uh, I probably will do a separate video on the user manual because there's just so much in there in terms of getting back into things like programming. I'm going to show you a little bit about the box but again you've probably seen a few videos there already but I'll show you a little bit of a it's here I guess in the room give you a bit of perspective and then I'm going to flick uh, the games on play a little bit of the games have a little bit of chat and we'll see where we go so let's just get straight into it um, we're going to show you the computer, and we'll show you that uh, is a kind of thing here. Say it's it's a computer. It's amazing uh, to say that we have a personal computer in 2020. Now, obviously, this was kickstarted um, some years back. They've been working on the project very intensively. I think, given the amount of sort of effort that's gone into this, for me it's well worth the wait because the finish of this computer, the way it looks, it's been designed by the late, great Rick Dickinson. For me, I could have waited even longer because it looks absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna kind of give you a little bit of an overview first before I get into the nitty gritty of it. So I won't labor on this too much because A, I'm not a particularly technical person and there's some areas that I need to actually go into, probably on the manual more than anything. Um, but there's also other people who uh, have done videos. You've got people like Nostalgia Nerd. I think Perifractic has done a video on it and a few others. So have a look at those guys. I'm going to put some links to a few other videos below so you can have a look at their videos too. But um, there it is. That is the ZX Spectrum Next in its entirety. I saw it um, at various stages. Obviously, we saw the original uh, renders of it and the renders to the final are almost I mean for me the final is kind of better than the renders which were amazing anyway so you can't really get asked for much more than that right let's just take you through just very kind of I'll do it briefly so we have obviously the QWERTY keyboard very much like the original Spectrum not the 48k obviously but what we're used to seeing after that in terms of the variations and it looks pretty similar to that. Now um, you've got also the handiness of technology and newness. We've got the joystick ports at the front, which is very handy. I've just been playing that the other day, last night. I've only had it for literally a couple of days now and um, just finding my way around it. We mentioned this when we're playing some games, but you've also got um, an NMI button, which is very handy and useful, I'll explain that. The SD card, now it comes loaded with demos and some games and things like that. I'm just gonna pull it back there because maybe the camera's out of focus. You've also got a drive button, a reset button, just like the original, some aspects there. Because you know, you don't wanna just do the same thing as a PC, this is a Spectrum, remember. It's got to evoke some modernness, but also some of the original. Now you've got the DC input, um, which is nine volt, you know, very similar to uh, the original Spectrums. You've got expansion port here, which probably won't go into today because I need to kind of get into that. You've also got a USB, two USBs, a digital video debug, a digital video, which is your HDMI, the ear and mic, because believe it or not, you can actually play tape games on this thing. Audio out, RGB, VGA, keyboard and mouse. Isn't that stunning? All those different things on what is a ZX Spectrum. So I'm just gonna put this to one side now. Um, I'm not gonna show you this, because we've all seen these, but um, I'm just gonna put that over to one side as well. And so this is very much uh, as we go. Look at that, the instruction manual. Absolutely beautiful. 
and very much like the original Spectrum in terms of the kind of design. Obviously, you knew the kind of original design, but an upgraded version to tie in with the box and the design of the box. I'm not going to flick through this in any detail, but there he is. He's the man who's uh, put this together, and respect to that. And there's an introduction here. Um, very important for me, and I, I think a lot of people that made a dedication to Rick. Obviously, Rick passed away just coming up to two years ago now, but you know, put his stamp on this, and um, I think it's a great respect that they did a almost the first page you get into a dedication to Rick. Um, I'm not going to go into it because there literally are pages and pages of ways of getting into your spectrum in many details. I'm going to go back to the old days of trying to get back into that and um really happy to uh, to do that over the coming weeks. I have to bring it up because I'm uh, I'm just proud I guess to be part of this that they um they made a mention to me um because Sam uh, Sam uh, my friend Sam Dyer from Bitmap Books kind of recommended uh, games you loved to the team and we helped those guys out. I wanted to get the word out. Also got them to events as well to get the word out. And um, we just, you know, we're, we're just grateful to be involved and play our part in what is a, a huge community effort. And everybody got behind this and made it happen. And it's just one of those success stories that um, I'm, you know, I'm just like pleased that it's come off. And here we are with the real deal. Right, let's put that over there. Let's look at this box. Um, so it's like going back into Dixon's. Um, and having like a you know computer box, really stunning box there. Some of the detail, obviously the uh, spectrum colours there. One oh two four kilobytes. The Sinclair logo, which I'll bring out there. Look at that. So much nostalgia for that. Um, it's powered by TB Blue, which is the board, the specky board. But obviously, there's lots of aspects of development with um, uh, Jim Bagley very much involved in that, and Victor. And obviously Enrique and others on the team. It's not you know it's not a one man effort. This one woman effort even. There's the lovely box and round the back of the box. I don't want to miss that kind of sort of thing you used to get on computers and computer packs. Um, sure, like Mega Drive packs. I used to have like wraps of these sort of things. Just showing you all the hardware specs. I'm not going to go into those because as I say, other people have done that. You can read that for yourself. And I'll put a link to the ZX Spectrum Next website. So again, you can get all this information of the hardware specs. I'm not just going to read it out line by line. What's really cool though, you've got the exclusive games like you used to get when a console just came out or a computer came out. So just to highlight some of those, we've got Quake Star, Lords of Midnight, fantastic, wonderful Dizzy, um, Warhawk, I was playing just the other night on social live, which is really good fun. The sound effects on that are amazing. Just read a little bit, the ZX Spectrum Next is the evolution of the original Sinclair 8-bit computer that kick-started a generation of bedroom coders whose games shaped the way we play to this day. Isn't there, there are more to that? It's all about the bedroom coders. They made the Spectrum what it was. Obviously it evolved into bigger companies later down the line, but a lot of what, where the Spectrum, what the Spectrum was, was about the bedroom coder. And I think that's why they've made such an effort and emphasis on this because this really gets you back into coding. Some people are just, this is like all in their head anyway, but for me, I'm gonna try and get back into maybe even more stuff because I rudimentary did a bit of basic stuff back in the day, but really didn't progress more than that. So it'd be interesting to, it's quite a thick old manual this, um, over 300 odd pages. So yeah, plenty of um, stuff to do at home there. And now we have to kind of say, why don't we just get into it and get the spectrum going? And he drops it there, which is a bit worrying. So I'm just gonna plug it in, um, say very much live. So the HDMI just going in the back there quite uh, nicely. I've got a little kind of desk here I've just set up, um, which I don't normally have. But it's been here for a few days now. And uh, I'm just gonna get the whole thing going on. Here we are. Now it might help if I move the camera up, <coughs> which I didn't do, so let's just do that. Like I said, very much freestyle, freestyle here. So I'm just gonna, just forgive me while I get the camera straight. It's gonna be a bit, uh, so you might have to sort of clip a bit of an edit here, because I don't want you seeing 
completely how I'm fluffing this up right now, but let's, uh, well, we cut, yeah, can you see that? Let's just come behind it. No, I'm gonna go up a little bit more. Right, I think that's it. <laughs> Please don't down thumb me for this bit, <laughs> or why not? Um, but yeah, there you go, very much, um, just as you'd set it up. So I've got the computer all ready to go. I'm just gonna put that forward there, and then I'm gonna get my joystick. So got a number of joysticks, a lot of them are actually packed away, but I weirdly had this one. I kind of bought it as a, a new in box some years ago, and then sort of put it away and thought, right, why don't I actually get it out? So you can see it's absolutely spanking new. I'm not gonna focus too much on the joystick, but I just wanted to quickly mention that. So I'm gonna plug that in. Now you don't need the joystick plugged in to uh, go through the interface of the, uh, the keyboard. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure there's a bit of sound on now. I was playing through some demos, so we're gonna just have a little play with those, first of all, and see uh, see where we can, you can hear that, hear that? Just gonna turn that up a little bit more. Might just blast out. Right, let's have a look at uh, some demos. I'm just trying to find where this demo was, which was so cool the other day. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I might have to come out of it Let's go for the, uh, oh, I don't think it was in here, but we'll have a go at this. No, it wasn't that. Oh, you can just flip that, that's kind of useful. There's another one there. I think this is just showing some of the, uh, wow. You see that stunning graphics there. Uh, yeah, this is pretty easy to knock in and out. So I'm just gonna go up a level. So I'm using the keys to do this, but I can hear that. I can do that on my joystick as well. Just. So everything's possible, which again is just, you know, the usefulness of the next, being able to do that. Right, let's have a little, another look. Uh, I might go up a level. I've gone up too far. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I think it was in classics. Was it this? Uh, I'm not, now, right, so this bit important. Again, need to read the manual, so lots of tips <laughs> welcome from me because I really haven't got into it apart from some of the basics, but there's various modes you can load this in. I haven't gone into the Raspberry Pi accelerator bit, which I'll probably do on a set. I'll do actually a video on the Raspberry Pi, what that means, because this is the accelerated version I've got here. So, but here you can see standard mode, USRO mode, and 48K mode. I'm not going to do the um, the simulation of the loading, I'll probably do it at the end, it's just a thing to tail off with because it goes on for quite a long time. But yeah, there, there you go. And then um, I'm just gonna bring it up now as you do. So if you press the little side button here, the NMI button, uh, they can see NMI menu, you can scroll through, really easy this is. I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to get into the manual and get understand all this, but it's so simple just to kind of access this menu. And there's various things you can do, you can put in uh, you can get uh, screenshots, you can put your cheats, your pokes in, there's debug tools, there's other settings, uh, you've got joystick settings there, uh, various, so you've got uh, Kempston Sinclair, what else have you got in here, scan lines on and off, that's pretty cool, you can see that, scan lines coming in and out, you've got frequency, so it's on 50 hertz, I've got it to 60 hertz. How much that will make a difference or not? Again, I'm not doing the whole technical comparable bit, but I think I did it the other night and I no did notice a bit of difference there on, on the screen. Anyway, there's some of that. I'm not gonna go into every detail. The sound bit, I need to look at the uh, instructions a bit more to get into that. Right, let's exit. And I'm gonna chuck this in at 700 and then return, right. See where I went? I've come back again, and I'm gonna go for 48K mode. And it uh, doesn't appear to have loaded, so that's probably me more than anything. So I'm just gonna come out and start again. See, it's uh, unrehearsed, all this, as you can tell. Go back into the browser. It's probably the way I loaded it or something, but again, I think it's new wave, right? Go into that, and then, uh, ah, I think it was because I pressed 48K, maybe. It's 
watch a bit of this demo, shall we? I haven't, I haven't seen this one, this is a different one. I'll let it play and not talk over it too much. Wow, this is a spectrum guys, can you believe it? Pretty mad. Right, I'm gonna come out of that. I don't know, I might leave it, it's pretty awesome. Right, it's come out of it now. Okay, and I'm gonna probably try one more demo, let's have a little look. Uh, let's go for this one. I think it's important, probably, again, I could be wrong, but I need to do the standard mode to make this happen. This is the one I watched. Let's turn it up a bit. Should have a couple of, a minute on this. Skip forward if you want to, but. Just amazing, this. Right, let's move on. But yeah, I think I saw some of this demo stuff. Um, you can play that to your heart's content, but I saw some of that demo stuff uh, when I was seeing Enrique and Jim, uh, when they were showing me the sort of capabilities of the whole thing. And I just thought, wow, this is like Amiga territory, you know, because of the way that the graphics were working with the sound, you know, you never got that sort of thing with a spectrum. Obviously Amiga, is a different animal, we know this, but just to see that working off what is in effect, you know, for me, uh, a Spectrum is uh, just superb. Right, let's, um, let's flip through the games. I've done a bit of an effort of, um, in terms of the games, putting them into folders. So I've got some by uh, publisher, there's some homebrew in there. It's kind of useful to do this. Uh, I need to split some of these up as well because they are a bit heavy going. Uh, but I will start with something um, that's probably more familiar, prefer, shall I? Um, I'll tell you what, I was playing it this morning and um, I mentioned it on my Twitter. So I'm going to chuck in Robocop. So I think there's a familiar bit of music coming up. Hopefully. Right, maybe not. That's strange, because I was playing it and whether the music's gone, but right, I'm going to select the... Uh... Here we go. A bit quiet, isn't it? Ah, it's probably thinking about Robocop 2, that's why. Right, so just to mention, this is at 3, so let's chuck it up to 7 and it will speed up. Everything speed up, the time speed it up. It's well good. Well good, I feel like I'm in the 80s. Well good, mate. Look at the graphics. God, it feels like the arcade version. Now I've lost my gun. So I'm just gonna probably die here, aren't I? Well, I'm not, this is not that choice, so I'm just gonna die. I'm just going to come out and play Robocop 2. Oh, got a gun back. Let's keep going. Now, I won't do it now because I'm literally just about to die. He's just taking it in the leg there. <laughs> Why does he keep going? Have I got a poke in or something? I'm not dying. That's a bit strange. I mean, I was messing about with pokes earlier, so maybe I've got invincibility. But we, like, now we're doing this. I'll show you this now. So, take it up to 14. It's really fast. It's like Robocop. 
Super Cup. He is going for it. The speed of this now. I mean, some games are unplayable, but actually, it's a bit of a laugh, this. He's, he's just... They're just flying through the... I can't even catch them. It's so funny. That's really good fun. I'm going to... Oh, this is really hard so far. Okay, so slightly cheating, maybe. Go back to that, and that's a bit more easy, right? Okay. Oh, I got in there. Oh my goodness, it's hard. Gotcha. Come on, come over to me. Come over to me. Come on. Ah, oh, just missed out there, didn't I? So there, you can save off this, I'm pretty sure. So if I go to, I think I'll take a snapshot. I could be wrong here. Uh, I don't want to replace, definitely. All right, I'm going to have to come back to this because I, I say uh, hitting the old, uh, I'm going to reset, I think, because I don't want to overwrite that one. So back in, really easy. I'm just going to slam it into Robocop 2 and I'm going to, that might crash. Oh, infinite lives, yeah, why not? Infinite energy, yeah, why not? Infinite time, yeah. Uh, oh, it looks a bit sketchy. Oh, that music. Can I just play that for a sec? It's a beautiful thing on a spectrum. So I think because I did the standard mode, again, could be wrong. Like this is the worst technical demonstration you'll see probably. Uh, it's loaded the 128K version. Um, Cause previously I loaded 48K. Anyway, let's just crack on and play the game, shall we? At the moment, I can't seem to get into it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go for the Kempston and let's go. Colours on it are really sweet, aren't they? I can't remember Robocop 2 too well, actually. It's pretty awesome. Right, let's crack on into it. They've got a countdown clock. Oh my god. It, I really can't remember it at all. It looks like the Game Boy version. Now, given I've got infinite everything, it's going to be quite dull, but I just wanted to show you the game. Playing along. It is um, very similar to what I remember on the Game Boy, which I again haven't played for years. I like you can just batter them down like that. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a massive cheat, so I don't want to bore you too much. I just want to show you a game playing and obviously not die too quickly. I was messing around with the Pope, so I think that's why I've got the Infinite Lives thing possibly. But I'm going to come out of that now and uh, show you something else. So I'm just pressing the space bar here, by the way, just to kind of circumnavigate around. And I'm using the cursor keys because it just makes not as much noise. Because if I'm using the joystick, you can hear that constantly going on. So um, I'm going to play, I was playing ATV Simulator actually, which is a bit of a game of mine. Um, blah, blah, blah. What else we've got here? Yeah, let's go for a bit of ATV simulator. And I'm gonna go for S, standard mode. I think this has maybe got some good sound as well from memory. Could be wrong. There you go. I thought it was. Some fairly good sound. And uh, come down here. I think it's probably already chosen the Kempston, is it? Choose control, enter. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. Right. This is tougher than I thought when I was playing it yesterday, by the way, so. And re uh, forgive a reflection on the screen here. I just uh, figured that. It's not, uh, it's not fantastic. So when I do the next one, I'll do a better job. But here we are. It's when blacks are showing. It doesn't look great because it's reflecting on the chair that I've got. But I'd say this is a bit of a quick and dirty. Um, yeah, I notice I'm not exactly road rash, but I love this game when I was a kid. This and Milk Race for some reason. Quite cool music, isn't it? I'm going to do one more. 
One more little uh, trail, as I say, on ATV simulator. Come on, boy. Oh, look at that leap. Ah, oh, I knew that bit. I haven't quite figured how you kind of get over some of these bits. I think you might have to slow down, which I'm not doing. So I just keep nailing the corner ones. I might not make this, guys. I'm sorry. Let's so keep going. Oh, 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 we're stuck. I can bounce. That's it. Ah, I was it jumping. That's why. It's been such a long time. That's my excuse. Come on, boy. Get up. Could make it. 60 seconds I've got. Jump, jump. Oh my god, he really flips in the air, doesn't he? That's pretty mad, right? Come on. I really don't think I'm gonna do this. Oh, just one of those moments. Come on. Oh, I, knew, I could feel myself leaning back, both in the game and reality. I've done it! Yay! Right. Let's come out of that. Oh, and what else should we play? How are we doing for time? Let's have a look. We're just coming into half an hour now. Uh, obviously, use your fast forward if you want to flick through a bit quicker. But I'm just taking you through as if I kind of um, and been playing this for the first time. And pretty much, I haven't really played it much, so it's a bit like that um, so far. I'm not going to go at Manic Jet Set Willy or Manic Miner because I'm just going to fail miserably but I'll just show you a little bit of how that works with the acceleration so let's have a little go oh my god sorry I have to turn that down I won't uh right so just showing you the speed which is the kind of key thing right double speed mad double the speed of that crazy really it's mad right yeah, just... Ah! So I just have a go at it? Oh my god, it's so weird. Yeah, I mean, I'm bad enough as it is at normal, but... What, can I... Oh, I've got over it. Here we go. I'll turn the volume down for this bit, guys, because I don't want to kill anybody in the process. This bit, I'm just going to fly. Ah! Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta stop. Just please stop it. Uh, so normal, it's kind of normal. You can call it that. And yeah, such a rich picture. Now I think that is it. Is it under 60 hertz? Let's have a look. Uh, settings, general. Yeah. Okay. That's, I think it's just such a good picture. This. Maybe it's just a placebo that it's a ZX Spectrum next. So I'm thinking it, but oh. So I'm going to keep this video to about half an hour, guys, um, because there's so much more to, to kind of talk about. But I just wanted to unbox it, die at this point, and um, I'm going to leave you with uh, a bit of a loading screen at the end, because I said I would, and uh, let's hit the browser. So I'm going to, because uh, it probably is a quite, I can't remember whether this is a good uh, one or not, but to hit the loading screen, you just do the uh, pause at loading screen, uh, no, you don't do that. Uh, you do the tape, that's it. And I'm going to load it and leave you to Dragon's Lair. Thanks for joining me. Do comment if you've got a Spectrum and do let me know any tips because I can bring them into the next video. Thanks for joining us on this half an hour little tour. And I'll just leave you with the loading screen for Dragon's Lair. See you out there. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously we are going to try and bring more videos. Uh, subscribe to us as well, and I'll subscribe to any guys as well who are interested uh, in this and probably give me their channel. Be well up for doing that. The sound is immense, so I'll leave you uh, with the loading screen now.